hello guys welcome to today's video by Trust stanley and this is a ts tech talk video guys so on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to create a featured collection on your facebook page making use of your pc and also i'm going to cover everything about the feature collection creating it editing it and then deleting any featured collection and then guys um I, I i don't think i have much pictures on my phone on my device but do not worry i have pictures to use so let's dive into that um first of all open your facebook.com and then hit enter and then um you need to log in make sure you're logged in so once you're logged in um another quick information guys make sure that you're making use of the latest version of um the facebook page so i'm going to switch to the facebook page instead of going to the facebook page now all you need to do is to drag down your profile section and you notice where it says switch profile click on switch profile and select the exact page that you want to um create the featured collection with so i just clicked on that and this is actually the exact page now the next thing you need to do is to go over to the profile section of your page i don't think um this is actually the profile section if you click on this or you click on this area and then click on see profile it takes you to the same place so when you click on see profile it brings you to this particular section now when you are right here just go ahead and scroll down a little bit until you see where it has a featured collection and this is the featured collection and then guys all you need to do to add a new featured collection is to click on edit featured so even though you want to edit the featured collection you want to create a new featured collection this is all you need to do so i just clicked on edit featured and then the next thing i'm going to do is to click on add new now when you click on add new you are ready to add a new feature now right here you notice these are all the existing um this right here is actually the existing um stories i have you notice it says stories this includes the active story and your story archive so these are all my story archive this is everything i have on my story archive and then on this upload section is actually what i have uploaded also these are all my previous story archive and if i click on see more i can see even more and if you notice it's also displaying my profile picture right there this is actually my old profile picture this is the very first profile picture when i created the page this is the next profile picture and then finally i re redesigned it to this one and then we started using that one so um this is also my cover so if for some reason you want to see that so let's go ahead and pick this cover and this cover this is the first cover i have used before and then this is the next one and this is my profile image this is the active one and this is the very first one so i'm going to see choose this choose this um, is there anything i'm missing no i think i i should choose this instead because i think there was a typographical error when i was creating this so um these are all the uploads now i think i'm okay with this i'm going to click on next to go over to the next page now you notice the um creation area now this is the on default it changes it to um collection so i'm going to edit that to say um every thing ts tech talk all right um I, w I wanted to add talk but i think the number limits have actually reached so this is everything and if i want to upload more i can click on add more to select even more and if i scroll down you can see all of the image they are all selected now i want to change this cover to my profile image all i need to do is to click right here when you click on it it's going to display this section and it you'll be able to choose the right one so i'm going to select this one as a profile image and you are going to notice it's going to display but i think this one should do more better because this is actually the current logo so i'm going to click on done right here to confirm and if i scroll down you are going to see that all of the image have been selected and active so the next thing i need to do is to click on save to save that particular image so it's going to take a while to save wait for it it's loading All right this has actually loaded up and this is the new um ts tech featured collection and if i click on it i can see it right here but the difference is it actually doesn't um display like it does on the mobile let me show you so when you click on it this is how it displays 
So what do you guys think about this compared to the mobile version where everything fits into the screen? So as always, you can always pause if you want to view the image, but you can always play whenever you want to view and then play it to keep it going. So this is all everything. And you notice it says no viewer yet. That is because nobody has seen it yet. Let me see if they've seen this previous one. Okay, um, it's not showing anything. Okay, nobody have seen it. This is the one I uploaded yesterday. Let me see the very first one. These are the very first one. It has um, 68 viewer. Let's see, 99. Okay, this is actually different. The reason why this is different is actually because um, this is actually what they got by um, the people that viewed it on on the Facebook page story. So I uploaded it on Facebook page story recently. That is the reason why you are still seeing this view. So guys, um, you notice that I designed a cover for this particular um, this particular featured collection right here. So to design a new cover, we are going to have to head over to a new tab and then open Canva. So while the Canva is open, I'm going to open Flatty icon. So I'm creating, I'm trying to actually create a new, um, I'm trying to actually create a new cover for the new Facebook featured collection that we'll be creating. So I'm going to search for a PC. Wait for it. It's going to load up and display right here. Okay, um, this is not bad, but I'm not satisfied with that. I'm going to look for something else. This is okay, I think. Right? Um, how about this? Let's use this. Let's use this. Click on free download. So like guys, this is actually where I get all of my downloads from and they are actually free, but you should always make sure you give them a credit. Once you give them a credit, that's fine. You can make use of the image for free. But um, anytime you want, you can always join the premium version of it. So once this is open, uh, we have to click on create. Click on create design and I'm going to select the Instagram post. This is, um, I'm going to choose this particular Instagram story instead because it's actually a featured collection and you know featured collection are old stories. So let's wait for it to load and we make use of it. And also guys, if you want to make use of colors, you can always come to uh, Material Design 2 by Google. I always make use of this Material Design 2.io forward slash resources forward slash color. I always come here to pick my color. This actually gives a lot of um, hazard colors and a lot of unique colors that you guys can find. Just about the best colors, you can find them here. This is where I click and then pick my color code, copy them, and that is it. So um, let's wait for it to load. taking so much time all right it has loaded up so click on the background image click on this color section click on the color picker and then change the color to the color i selected i thought i copied something okay for some reason it did not copy let me come right back highlight ctrl c come right back paste it and this is the color we chose and if that is the color I chose, I don't think that design pattern would work best. So I'm going to choose this particular design instead. I'm going to download a free, uh, another free image. So I'm going to come over to the upload section, click on upload. And this is the image right there. Select, open, and it's going to take a while to open. So while that is opening, um, let's click on edit featured and click on add new. And then I'm going to select upload. Now, this time around, I'm going to upload images right from my picture section. And no, I'm not okay with that. Let me go to the desktop. Okay. Uh, okay. I already have this image uploaded. So let me just choose image from my downloads. I thought I have images right there, but for some reason they have all, um, they are all old image. So let me choose some of my jobs that I've done. So far, this is actually um, my Facebook, uh, my YouTube thumbnails. 
So um, if you're done selecting your images, when you scroll down, you can see the images have been selected. Just click on next to bring you to the next page. And you notice on default, this is going to be the cover. So I want to actually change this cover. So to change the cover, all you need to do is to click on this image, just like I did before previously. And now I don't think I've downloaded this design yet. So let me bring this to the center. It's already there. And now I'm going to download the image by clicking on share and selecting download and tapping on download. So the download is displaying right here. I've downloaded the, um, the cover that I designed from Canva and also trying to change this one. So already I have clicked on the change cover option and now I have to upload a new cover. So I need to click on upload and then locate where I have the cover. This is the cover right here. So I just have to click on it and have it open. So it's going to load up and open. I think it has loaded successfully. This is it. So I'm going to click on done and then I'm going to change the collection name to, um, what should we name this? So I'm going to call this YT thumbnails because that is actually my YouTube thumbnail. So I'm going to click on save and it's going to have them saved. So two things I did today, I created um, the Facebook create um, the Facebook featured collection and also added a cover to the Facebook featured collection. Now, um, one more last thing to do is to delete a Facebook featured collection. So let's wait for this to load. These have loaded up and these are all my featured collection. So let me close that off first. So these are all the featured collection. I have five here, four, two, three, and this is um, also three. So now what I want to do is uh, let me see the one that I have to delete. I think this is not so bad. This is also not so bad. So I'm going to be doing different things. Um, this is not bad. This is not bad. This is not bad. So guys, I'm going to do two different things right now before I round up this video. First, I'm going to edit um, the featured collection. So let's click on edit. Now, this is actually the existing featured collection. So I'm going to scroll down right here. Um, not here, actually. This area where it says four. So I'm going to click on this edit button and you notice it has bring me to the edit section. Now you notice the option right here that says delete featured collection. That is actually how to delete the whole of the featured collection. Now note guys, when you delete this featured collection, it deletes everything right here. So let's go ahead and click on delete to delete the featured collection and then confirm delete and wait for it. It's going to load up and it will be deleted. Now it has just been deleted. You notice now I have only four featured collection, right? And now another thing I want to do, I'm going to edit also an existing featured collection. So to do that, click on this pencil icon right here to edit that. And then under this area, scroll down a little bit. Now I have different featured collection. I want to add even more. So I'm going to click on add more and I'm going to click on, on some image on the previous one from the one I deleted that was no longer there. So let me click on see more right here select this i'm okay with that um i think there is something else from the deleted image i'm going to select this and this and then this youtube uh, right here right so that is not showing properly okay let's just select the logo and then click on done so i have Right now, I have selected all of these and I want to save them, which means I added some of the featured collection. And if you want to delete a particular image from the featured collection, let's assume um, we want to remove this particular one alone. All you need to do is to deselect. So once you deselect, it's no longer going to be saved. Take note of what I just deselected. So just click on save and then wait for it. So it's going to take a while and that particular image that we selected is going to be deselected so wait for it it's loading up so it has loaded up and you notice it says six item instead of seven now if i close that off and click under this area you will no longer see that particular image i deleted you see it's not there so this is all i want to show you guys on today's video and i just hope this video is helpful you know what let me refresh i think something is wrong right there I think it's showing me three images instead of five. So that's the reason why I have to refresh. And then let's come back right back there. I think it's this particular one, right? One, two, three. Yes, it's this one. It took some time to load. 
okay now it's five i think this i, I added recently i also uh this was there before i added this recently i didn't add this i added this recently and you see everything is working perfectly fine so guys this is all i want to show you on today's video i hope it's helpful if it is smash like and subscribe to the channel for more video and i'm going to see you on my next video please stay safe and peace